27, the graph below shows JT and its image, JT prime, after a transformation. Which transformation would map JT onto JT prime? So let's go through each one. One, translation. Translation is basically just moving the entire figure without changing its orientation. So if JT was just moved somewhere else but it still had this orientation, then translation would work. But clearly it's not because T is above and to the right of J. And here T prime is below J prime. So it's not a pure translation. Glide ref reflection, I'm going to skip because that's actually the answer just to go ahead, but I'm going to show you why it's not three or four. So rotation centered at the origin. If it was centered at the origin, imagine that you rotated this 180 degrees. So J would go from being here, and then if you rotated it 90 degrees, it would be here, right? And then if you rotate it another 90 degrees, it would be here. So that actually looks pretty good. But what about T? Where would T go? T starts here. And after you rotate it 90 degrees, it would be here. And after, well, would it be there? It would be, maybe to be out more. Yeah, it'd be right here. And then another 90 degrees, and it would be here. Not here. And that kind of makes sense, because if you think about just taking JT and turning 180 degrees, 90 and then another 90, it's going to be like this. It's going to be parallel to its current position. So it's not a pure rotation about the origin. What about reflection through the origin? Reflection through the origin basically means like it's a reflection about the line Y equals X, which is that line. If you did that, then the new J would be here and the new T would be somewhere over here, say. And it's not. So it's not 4. So why is it 2? Let me erase some of this stuff I put up on here so we can think about 2. 2 is a glide reflection, which combines, it's a special kind of transformation which combines a reflection, just a regular reflection over some line with a translation. So first, imagine that JT is being reflected about the x-axis. So it's being flipped down here. So J prime would be here, and T prime would be here. That's just a pure reflection, right? But now, take that new line, and you're allowed to translate it over to the right and then J prime, T prime would land here. So it's a reflection and then a translation. I'm sorry, yeah, a reflection and then a translation. And that's how J prime, T prime gets to be where it is. So two, glide reflection is the right answer.